Welcome to another episode of Legendary Leaders. As always, I am happy to have you with me today. Thank you for listening in. I'm excited to be able to share with you some thoughts and some pieces today specifically about your business that, it, that should be able to move you forward or at least remind you of things that you already know so that you can run a little faster and take yourself from that corporate world into that confident entrepreneurial space and be able just to, to move yourself forward and go and start living the life that you deserve, right? The legendary life. That's what we call it here at Legend Leaders. So as you know, the entire reason why this podcast and this YouTube channel, why they exist is because I want to share with you tips and tricks strategies, really more than tips and tricks, strategies that will help you move forward, take yourself and your business to the next level. You know, the entire reason that we're here is to arm you, corporate female leaders who are ready to start their own business or who are already starting their own business and are trying to figure out how to move it forward so rapidly so that you can hit your legend number, right? That's what we call it here, your financial target number. That, that you have in your mind, right, that you've established, not just in your mind, but you've written it down. It's your target. It's your goal. You want to deliver to that so that then you can leave the corporate world and you can just serve and contribute and pour into people through your business, right? That's why we exist. So what I will tell you is today we're talking about your target audience. Now, I will tell you that I have invested tens of thousands of dollars going through business courses, and I'm not talking about like MBA classes. I'm talking about coaching and mentoring and learning from all of these other amazing business owners because if I can learn from them, just like you can learn from me, if I can learn from them, then I can run faster, I can avoid mistakes, I can get to where I want to be, and then I have that knowledge and I can impart it upon you, right? So it's just a cycle. We're just all sharing information so that we can help each other be successful. And so I've spent money and I've spent time and I've learned all of these things. And what I will tell you is what I tell all of my clients, which is as you're starting a business, you have to know who you're talking to. And I know that that sounds so, I mean, common sense, right? Like, hello, Katrina. Of course I have to know who I'm talking to. I mean, how would I start a business? I have to know who I'm selling things to. And I know that you inherently understand that. And I get that because I inherently understood it as well. But I will challenge you on this one just a little bit. I'm going to walk you through this and explain to you what happened to me so that you can learn from my experience and then apply the lessons learned. So let's go ahead and dive into it. What I learned was that while that was a no-brainer, I had a hard time figuring out who I really wanted to help. Now, I will tell you that I knew right out of the gate I wanted to help women in their business. I mean, that was an easy one for me. I knew that it, I wanted to help women. I help women and men, but my passion is to take women who just want to kick some butt and just have an amazing idea and get out there and they want to serve the world. And I want to help remove all of those barriers and roadblocks. So, you, I mean, you're just flying down the road. I mean, I just, that's my passion. I just get excited about it. So I knew that much. I also knew, obviously, that I wanted to help in business versus relationships or parenting or any of the other topics that, that exist in the world today that I could help with, right? I want to help and focus in on business. So I knew that much. But other than that, I, I struggled a little bit. I knew right out of the gate in the beginning where I thought I wanted to start was helping with uh, businesses that were already established in the growth phase, going into the mature phase of business. And I wanted to help teach the Air Squared Framework, which is my signature, signature framework. It's my signature program that I teach where I help you become more efficient and fix all the different pieces in your business so that you can generate more revenue and you can reduce, potentially reduce headcount. You just become more efficient. Because when you are in that growth phase going into mature, you have to become more efficient. That's what your business demands, right? And so that's where I started. But as I started getting through that and developing all those pieces, it struck me. I was like, oh, well, wait a minute. I, I like that, but what I'm finding is there are a lot of businesses that are out there that aren't ready for the Air Squared Framework because the foundation wasn't built correctly. So let me back it up a little bit. Let me start helping at the very beginning. Let me start helping where we have startups. And let me start helping you generate cash flow. And let me teach you the nine fundamental pillars of business. We call it mastering the nine here at Legend Leaders. Let me teach you those things because if I can help you lay the foundation, then I can help you become more efficient in that growth to mature phase. And I can help you through all four phases. So I started thinking about that and started working there. Well, then the reality struck me that there are a lot of women that are out there that 
they want to start a business, but they, they don't want to start a business. They're fearful. They, they don't know how to start a business and they know in their heart that they're dissatisfied, but where do I go next? And what's step number one and what's step number two? And so the lack of knowledge, the uncertainty that we all have at some point in our lives, that uncertainty was too great. And so they didn't want to step out and start their own business. They're fearful of that because all of us in the corporate world that have lived there, we're successful because we know what in the heck we're doing. I mean, we can kick butt in there because we know what we're doing. We walk in, shoulders back. I mean, point to us. We know how to handle it, right? But yet going from that world where I know everything or most everything and, and I'm confident and I've got it under control to a world of unknown is scary. And so I started figuring out. And so I, again, I, I backed it down a little bit and I started changing my audience a little bit. And I will tell you, the question that helped me figure out who I want to work with no one else had given me this question, so I'm going to give it to you today. The question was, if I was in a room with someone for two hours, I was in a room with a bunch of people, who could I be in the room with that I could naturally and easily have a conversation with, that I could empower, that I could share some information, that I know based on the way that I speak and the directness that I carry and the knowledge that I have in business, that I could go and start teaching them things right out of the gate and these women would say, awesome, I love it, that's perfect, I know exactly how to implement that. Or they'd ask a few questions, but they'd immediately start running to it, right? And so it'd have to be women that just weren't starting a business, because that's where I started, just helping women in a business. But not all women have the same backgrounds or the knowledge or the experiences or the drive or the desire, right? And so I figured out by saying, well, who could I be in a room with for two hours that if I taught in my way, in, in my style, coming from a place in the position that I'm in right now where I felt comfortable starting, I wouldn't have to start you know, all the way at ground level. I, I want to start sort of mid-level based on the knowledge of business that someone has, just in general, and their experiences, that I could do that. Who, who would that be? Who would that person be? And I didn't figure out who I really wanted to help and, and center my business around until I figured out the answer to that question. Because again, no one had asked that question. You'll get these foo-foo questions all the time on social media of, you know, if you could go and have dinner with anyone, who would it be? And blah, 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 right? But this is the fundamental question. If you were in a room for two hours with a group of people and they are your customer, who would they be? What would they bring to the table? What would their personalities be like? What would they already know? What would they have experienced in life? That, just changing the question a little bit to ask myself that question, helped me come to the table and say, I want to help women who are in the corporate world, who know about business because they've, they've worked in the business. They understand that startup is very different than the corporate world because business phases are different. And so they know that they're going to have to learn things. They don't go in blindly assuming that business is going to be easy or you know, that they're not going to have to put in some work because I want to help support women who are willing to put in the work because we know that business is work, but the reward at the end of it is amazing, right? So they have some business knowledge. They handle my directness because in the corporate world, women are direct and, and we have direct conversations and we have ideas and we're strong and that's accepted and it's okay. And we're used to interacting with each other in that capacity, right? And so there are all these other things that I thought of. And, and that's who my target audience is. And that's how I figured it out. But it took me a long time, a lot of money, a lot of courses, a lot of advertising and putting different pieces out there and trying to figure out who my audience is to finally land on this audience. I mean, this is just, when I think about um, these amazing women, and, and you're probably one of them that just live in that world, that work in the corporate world, you're starting your business or you want to and you want the help. Man, I mean, my heart just explodes and I get so excited with the, the idea and the ability to come in and help you. Not because, you know, I want to make money, but because I want to help you, because I want to see the light in your eyes, because I want to see you going out there and kicking butt and achieving, achieving your dream. And that excites me. And so when you can be in that room for two hours with those people and they become your best friends, and you know that you have landed in your personal sweet spot of service, that's when you figured out your target audience. And if you're not feeling that, then you haven't quite found it. If you wanna get the ads out there, if you wanna get the business going, but you're, you're hesitant 
And it's not because you're fearful that it's not perfect, okay? Because that could be a fear. It just doesn't feel right. Like you're, you're getting close, but it doesn't feel right. I will tell you, trust your gut. It's not right. Go back and ask yourself, who can you relate to? Who do you want to serve? There is a group out there that is made just for you. I mean, we're all, I mean, look at the millions and billions of people out there. There's a group out there that you're going to serve, but you need to find them. Find them. Figure out who your target audience is. That's your challenge for the day if you're struggling with that. Who could you spend uh, two hours with in a room and feel fully confident that you could teach them or sell your, your product to them, whatever it is that you offer, and they're immediately going to, to grab it. It's going to resonate with them. That's your target audience. Think about it. Jot it down. Don't lose any idea. Nothing, no detail is too small or too big about your target audience because you're going to use that to go out and connect with them and serve them. Okay? okay? Go and be legendary.